Welcome to this new series on advanced technologies in electrical engineering. In this video and in the following videos, we will cover smart grids, wireless power transmission and electric vehicles. In today's video, we will talk about smart grid. Let's start by describing what a smart grid is. Basically, it is an innovative electrical grid that relies on multiple devices and energy measures with the objective of improved efficiency of quality of service. It is basically a two-way dialogue where information and electricity are transmitted to and from users. Let's define the historical context. The first alternating current power grid system was installed in 1886 in Massachusetts. At that time, the grid was a centralized unidirectional system of electrical power transmission, electricity distribution and the mind driven control. So it was a central generation device connected to a series of users. The regulation of the power was managed by looking at the demand of current over time. This design philosophy was not fault tolerant. If the generator failed, all the grid suffered a power shortage. One in the afternoon, just after work, and the other just after average bedtime. 
In this two period of time, most of the vehicles are charging, so we have an excessive demand of energy on the grid. However, thanks to the smart grid concept and the use of smart charger connected to the internet, it's possible to change the curve, avoiding the excessive stress in the grid, allowing roughly 50 gigawatts of saving for every 2050 million electric vehicles. Considering an average 2.5 MW for wind turbine, we can compute how many turbines we are saving thanks to smart grid. It is sufficient to divide the power saved by the average output, obtaining roughly 20,000 wind turbines. You will learn more about electric vehicles in my next video on advanced technologies in electrical engineering. Another example could be the integration of solar panel into the national grid. The output of the solar grid is variable by nature and can be approximated by the sinusoidal function. When the output is getting lower, the generation of electricity has to be substituted by other energy sources, for example hydroelectric power generation. However, in this case, the ideal output is not constant, but it has to match the typical demand of the grid during a day. In a typical US grid, we can use this graph. We have a morning ramp when all the industries start their shifts. And we have a peak in the late afternoon when people come back from work and start using their electrical appliances. So we have to match the curve of demand and offer by regulating the power of the generators using smart sensors. With green we have the solar power and in blue the hydroelectric power. Finally, let's analyze the economics behind this technology. In 2009, the US smart grid industry was valued at about $21.4 billion. By 2021, it will exceed at least $60 billion. Given the success of smart grid in the US, the world market is expected to grow at a fast rate. In 2011, research concludes that investment in a US smart grid will cost up to $476 billion over 20 years, but will provide up to $2 trillion in customer benefits over that time. The use of a smart grid carries several advantages. As mentioned in previous example, it's very efficient. It is reliable thanks to the use of technologies such as the state estimation that improves fall detection and allows self-healing of the network without the intervention of technicians. This will ensure more reliable supply of electricity and reduce vulnerability to natural disasters or attack. Moreover, thanks to bidirectional energy flows, it allows distributed generation such as from solar panels on roofs of houses the excess energy is cell in the network allowing a potential earning from the household. These advantages are mainly related to privacy concern with data management from energy companies. However, several laws are presented to protect the data of the users. The concept of smart grid is already operative in the United States, Germany, United Kingdom and China. However, several countries are deploying smart grids, such as Canada, France, Italy, Spain, Japan, Norway and Sweden. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the next video on electric cars. Remember to leave a like on the video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.